tribe of Judah, it will break the job bone of all your enemies. It will set you free. It will overcome every problem for you in Jesus' name. He said, I have no man. But thank God, I have the mediator. Thank God, I have the Messiah. Thank God, I have the mountain mover. Because every mountain there today, where are you? I said every mountain there today, I'm, I'm asking where are you there? Let him locate you right there. The mountain of your life, he will roll away in Jesus' name. Don't tell, don't, don't join that. Don't say what that man said. That man was ignorant. That man did not know Jesus. That man did not know. And Jesus was right there. The Messiah was there. The mediator was there. The mountain mover was there. The miracle worker was there. And he said, I have no man. Thank God I have the man of Galilee. Thank God I have the son of man. I have the son of God. Thank God I have the one that has come to remove all my mountains. And I can assure you tonight, a thousand mountains will take them away. Ten thousand mountains will take them away. A hundred thousand mountains will take them away. A million mountains will take them away. And you are one of them. Candidate for miracle, where are you? Candidate for power, where are you? Candidate for the possibilities becoming possible. Where are you? You are there. He has located you. Tonight is. I have no man. Oh, thank God. I have the name. The name above all names. He has given us his name. He said, Whatsoever you ask in my name, I will give unto you. The man was there helpless. No wonder I was helpless. He didn't know what we have. If you don't know what we have, if you don't know we have a name, that you will ask the Father in my name, and he will give it to you. And he said, These I shall follow them that believe in my, tell me. In my, tell me out loud. In my name, they'll cast out devils. In my name, they'll take up serpents and throw that away. In my name, blind eyes will open. In my name, the lame will rise up and walk. In my name, if they drink any deadly sin, it shall not hurt them. Premature death is cancelled from your life. In Jesus' name. The man said, I have no man, I have no person that will help me. I have the only name of the father of the son, the only begotten son of the father. I have the overcomer. He has overcome Satan for me. I overcome Satan. He has overcome sin for me. I overcome sin. He has overcome evil spirit for me. I overcome evil spirit. I am an overcomer today. I said, I am an overcomer today. The man said, I had no man, but thank God I have the prince of peace. Peace will come in your heart. Peace will come to your family. I have no man, the prince of peace is here. I have no man, the power of God is here. I have no man, the purifier of the soul is here. It will purify your soul. It will cleanse your soul. It will set you free. And you will know the freedom that comes from the peace, prince of peace, that comes from the purifier of the soul, that comes from the high priest who gave his life for us. The man said, I have no man, but I have the quiz master. Who is the quiz master? The quiz master is the one that has the, the most serious question of your life, and then you don't know the answer, and he gives you the answer. Somebody there today, you have an answer. I said you have an answer. Jesus is the answer for the world today. And Jesus is the answer for your life today. All those questions, a question mark here, why was I born in this family? All those question marks, why am I suffering like this? All those question marks, why has this happened to me in life? All those question marks in your life, why haven't I reached where I wanted to reach? Now a solution has come. The quiz master is going to give you the final solution. And he's going to give you the wonderful solution. Because all the questions of your life, they are resolved tonight in Jesus' name. Tears are wiped away. The sorrow is taken away. The sin is taken away. Because I have Jesus. Somebody there, I have Jesus. What do I need to worry about? I have Jesus. 
That man was miserable. See him lying down there. I have no man. I get up because I have Jesus. I'm running because I have Jesus. I am strong because I have Jesus. I am healed because I have Jesus. I am saved because I have Jesus. My tears are dried because I have Jesus. If you don't have Jesus, I pity you. You'll be like that man there. 30 years, 35 years, 38 years. You're still rolling on the ground there. I have no man. Well, you could easily rise up because it's inviting. It says, let him come. Let him come. Whosoever will come to him tonight, it will reject no one in Jesus' name. Because I have Jesus is the ruler of the universe. I have Jesus in the righteousness of the saints. I have Jesus is the resurrection and the life. If you are dead, did you hear the testimony from our pastor? If anybody is dead there tonight, the power of resurrection will come unto you. That hand that is dead, the power of resurrection will come there. That leg that is dead, the power of resurrection will get there. That liver that is dead, any part of your body that is dead, the resurrection and the life will come unto you tonight in Jesus' name. He came to Mary and Martha. And then he saw that Lazarus was dead, but life is coming. Somebody there said life is coming. And then uh, they rolled the stone on the tomb. And Jesus got there. He's the only one that can say this. He's the only one that can tell you, take away that stone. Tonight, take away that stone. You put the stone there because you thought everything is over. It's not over yet. I said it's not over yet. You put the stone there because you thought life is gone. And because life cannot come back again, when the resurrection of the life, his name is Jesus, when he comes, life will come into that place. Take away the stone. I said, take away the stone. I said, take away the stone. Everything you use to block your life and to hinder you from coming to Jesus, take it away. And they took away the stone. And Jesus got there and said, Father, I know you always hear me. And I know you are going to hear me now. And then you said, Lazarus, come forth. And Lazarus came forth. Resurrection came to him. Somebody there today. Resurrection is coming to you. Am I talking to somebody there? Resurrection power. Resurrection power. And that family that scattered, God will collect all that family together. New life will come. A new love will come. Because resurrection is coming to you today in Jesus' name. Look at our man. Look at our man. He had no man. Thank God I have the son of God. He had no man. I have the son of righteousness with healing in his wings. He had no man. I have the sanctifier. He had no man. I have the strength and the might of God. He comes to your life and strength will come to your life in Jesus' name. I have Jesus. I have everything. You have Jesus. You have everything. You have the Savior, and then you have the healer, and you have the deliverer, and you have the one that comes to set you free. Tonight, somebody there will be free. Something that tied you up, and something that you know, is telling you that life has come to an end. You say, no, life is going to begin today for you. Who are the people I'm talking about? Because born again, born again. Born again. That means life will become totally new. Everything will turn to a new direction in Jesus' name. He had no man, but I have the truth that sets man free. And ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. If the Son, therefore, shall make you free, ye shall be free indeed. When the truth of heaven gets in your life, when the truth of the gospel gets into your life, when the truth of Christ gets into your life, all that error will be swept away. And all that weakness will be swept away. And all the things that bind you, all the chains that bind you, everything will vanish away in Jesus' name. He had no man. That's why he was lying down there. That's why he spent five years, ten years, twenty, thirty, thirty-eight years there, impotent, powerless, incapable, 
incompetent. He couldn't do anything. But thank God, I have the upholder of the whole universe. I have the uplifter of the fallen. You are there. Jesus will bend down today. He will lift you up. You're falling. Jesus will bend down today and lift you up. And the devil is putting you in a dungeon. And he puts your feet there in the stalks. Jesus Christ is the one, the uplifter of the falling. He comes to lift you up today. You will never be the same again in Jesus' name. Our man over here, until Christ came. For 38 long years, I had no man, but thank God, I have the victor. I said I have the victor. And because of that, I have victory. I have victory. Because the one that came triumphantly, and the one that came victoriously, is risen from the dead. It's not in the grave anymore. He's victorious. And because of the victory in his life, it brings that victory to me. It is fresh from resurrection day. It is fresh with resurrection power. And he comes to me today and he mentions my name. What's your name? And he mentions my name. I said, what's your name? And he mentions my name. I said, what's your name? Then he calls you by name. He said, get up. I bring victory to the victim. And the victory of the Lord is coming to your life tonight in Jesus' name. He had no man, I have the wonder walker. He had no man, I have the watchman over my soul. He had no man, I have the witness from heaven, the witness of the Father. He had no man, I have the one whose name is the Word of God. That's his name. And the Word, the power in the Word will walk in your life today. If you come to Jesus Christ, you have everything. You have everything from the Alpha and the Omega on to the watchman over your soul and every problem will be solved in your life. And then you say, Jesus, I have you. Jesus, I accept you. Jesus, I believe you. Jesus, I come to you. And you'll not be regretting like that man throughout your life. I have no man. Because, you know, there are problems going to come in your life that nobody else can solve. Problems going to come that nobody can handle. But when you have Jesus and say, I cannot talk like that man anymore. I have no man. Because I have Jesus, and because I have Jesus, I have everything. Tonight, you have everything. What are you? I said tonight, you have everything. The power of heaven will walk in your life, will walk in your soul, will walk in your body. It's the express image of the Father. It's the expression of the Almighty. It's the excellence. It's the exalted one. It's the one that is given a name above all names that are the mission of the name of Jesus. Every knee shall bow. Cancer will bow tonight. Also will bow tonight. All the demonic spirits, they'll bow in your life in Jesus' name. Look at our man. Our man said, I have no man. Thank God I have the yoke breaker. I said I have the yoke breaker. It comes in your life tonight and every yoke is taken away. Every yoke is totally cancelled. Every yoke in your life is going to destroy and shatter everything tonight in Jesus' name. I have the one that is the same yesterday and today and forever. Have you read about him yesterday? The deliverer. Have you read about him today? Is the defender. Have you read about him? Tomorrow is the day star. And the day star will arise in your heart today. It will bring light and shine light into your life. All the problems of yesterday, I'm coming to Jesus. Thank God I have the man. I say, thank God I have the man. Thank God I have Jesus. I have the man, I have the means. I have the man, I have the miracle. I have the man, I have the miracle mover. I have the man, I have the miracle walker. I have the man, I have the mountain mover. And tonight, it comes in your life in Jesus' name. Are you still there? I said, are you still there? Every yoke will be broken in your life. Every yoke destroyed in your life. If you wait for him, he's coming to touch you there. You don't need to say, where is he? Where is he? Look at the man, 38 years of being an invalid. 
13 years of helplessness. And Jesus came to him right there. Look at you right there. Jesus is coming to your side. He's coming with power. It's coming with pardon. It's coming with peace. It's coming with salvation. It's coming with everything you need. And something good will happen there tonight. In Jesus' name. He had no man. Thank God. I have Zion's center and source of power. If you have ever read about Zion in the Bible, it's the siege of power. If you have ever heard about Zion in the Bible, it's the source of power. If you have ever read about Zion in the Bible, it's the center of power. That's where David made the headquarters. And here comes Jesus, the son of David. Is Zion's center of power. Is Zion's source of power. And is the same essence of power. And here comes tonight, it brings Zion into your life. It brings victory into your life. It brings totality, entirety, completeness into your life. He had no man, I had Jesus. Somebody there, somebody shout, I have Jesus. And then as Jesus came to him and said, you had no man before today, but today you have me and I come to you. He said in that John chapter 5, in verse 7 it says, rise, take up your bed, and walk. Rise, take up your bed. That's in verse 6. And then in verse 7, the impotent man complained. Then in verse 8, he said, rise up, take up your bed, and walk. And immediately. Everybody shout immediately. Yeah. Immediately. Yeah. I want to hear you from River Sage. Immediately the power of God came upon him and he was made whole. He was made whole. He was made whole. Well, he's got his own. I'm going to get my own. I am made whole. Somebody there, I am made whole. Point number three, the glorious authority of a supernatural savior. The glorious authority of a supernatural savior. He came to him later and then he brought greater power in his life. He said, you have been made whole. Somebody there? You have been made whole. I said somebody there? You have been made whole. Sin no more, lest a worse thing come upon you. He also gave him power to go and live a new life. And as you come here today, and you meet Jesus, and you accept Jesus, and you believe Jesus, and you put your faith in Jesus, he'll give you power for a new life tonight in Jesus' name. He has authority to forgive. He can forgive all your sins. He'll take all your sins away. He said that she may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth, has power on earth, to forgive sin, rise up, and walk. And the man rose up and walked. And it was a confirmation that he had authority on earth to forgive. He has authority to save. Authority to save. He said the son of man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. You were lost in sin. You were lost in darkness. You were lost in occultism. You were lost in wickedness.